I recently came across a blog post called The Day You Became a Better Writer by Scott Adams, and it's pretty good. It teaches you the importance of surprise, headlines, and the importance of being brief and direct. But what truly makes me think is the title, The Day You Became a Better Writer. Hi, my name is Jorge. Welcome. On this channel, we merge creativity and productivity to try to live a more fulfilling life. If you were to write an article or a blog post about how you became a better filmmaker or a photographer, how would you approach this? Would you write about the tech specs of a camera or the craft itself? Or would you write about the actual day you decided to go ahead with your hobby or passion or craft? Or even the day you made significant changes to achieve it? The reason why the title of the post is so important is because one, it makes you think. It forces self-exploration and thinking about your circumstances. And number two is because it sounds like history, like you made it. It's a fact. You are a great photographer, you are a great filmmaker, and the post is just how you got there. Very powerful indeed. Let's talk about it. Certain elements will propel you forward and help you arrive at the day you become a better artist. However, these elements on their own will not make it happen. There's the motivation element, what inspires you, what moves you, what artist and what type of art compels you to be better. Nobody can teach you about this. You have to navigate that road on your own. It can be difficult, but it's the soul of your craft. These elements have to be present for you to achieve your goals. I made videos about this, and they're linked in the description down below. Then, there are the technical elements. This is key to getting the results that you want. Sooner or later, you'll be forced to understand and control the technical aspects of your craft. Exposure, composition, color, focus, aspect ratios, you name it. I've made a video about this, and it will be linked in the description down below. And although this will significantly improve your results, and the direction of your craft in general, Technical aspects alone will not make you a great photographer. Have you learned and mastered the technical aspects of your craft? Congratulations, but so have hundreds of thousands of people out there, and they are probably better than us, so keep that in mind. The best way to learn is to teach, and I have learned quite a bit since I started my YouTube channel. A lot of reading and a lot of writing go into the process of making YouTube videos. Do research, read the books that I've covered in previous videos like The Motivation Myth, and Atomic Habits, Make Time, The Paradox of Choice, etc. And one of the things that Naval Ravikant mentions in his podcast is that using your real name on the internet creates accountability. Embrace accountability and take business risks under your own name. Society will reward you with responsibility, equity, and leverage. And that forces the people that put themselves out there, like me, to be mindful about the types of videos that I make, the foundation of the data and the knowledge that I share on this channel. I cannot spout nonsense and non-true things on my videos. I have to educate myself first quite a bit before I can teach others. And that's something to keep in mind. But even after that, this YouTube channel did not make me feel like I became a better filmmaker or a better photographer. It does help, like the previous elements that I already mentioned, but this alone did not make it. It just made me more mindful about learning and teaching as well. For me, the day that I became a better photographer was the day that I decided that I wanted to be a better photographer and focused on that. Let me explain. I was working in the film industry for close to 10 years, and I got to the point where I just had enough. And I asked myself, there's gotta be more to life than this, right? So I decided to move overseas as a way to one, explore somewhere new, but two, disconnect myself from the things that I already knew. My career, my job, my friends, my family, my spoken language, and it was a truly transformative experience. But I didn't become a better photographer just because I decided to move overseas. Anybody can do that. Anybody can change careers. Anybody can start a YouTube channel. I became a better photographer because I said to myself, this is what I want to do now, and I will. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to get in the way. I'm not going to half-ass it. It's going to happen, no matter what. And I did do it. And after that, I was able to capture some of my own personal favorite photographs.
it provided a break from life as I knew it and gave me some room to dedicate myself to the craft. So no, it was not a specific camera that made me a better photographer or mastering the technical aspects or being super inspired all the time or wanting to move overseas. Some of those things did help, but no, it was me taking direction, taking action and deciding this is going to happen, nothing is going to stop me. I then and there decided I will become a better photographer, and I think I did. When I see some of the best photographs and films in history, it's all about the impact that these create and the feelings that these invoke as well. At least that's the case for me, I don't know about you. And after writing this video and trying to review all the information that I'm presenting and gathering, the question arises of how do you know if you're good enough? How can you properly and honestly assess yourself? Some people will tell you that it's subjective. Photography, painting, films, it's all subjective. Some others will tell you that there are clear indications if you're good or not. But I really think it comes down to the feeling that your photographs or your films or your paintings evoke on others and yourself as well. And generally speaking, the more you know and the more experience you have and the higher the quality of your work, the more you feel like you really don't know nearly as much as you should and the more you try to seek truth and how to improve as well. Like our good friend Plato once said, I know that I know nothing. Thanks Plato. The good news is that when you are seeking knowledge and trying to be better and trying to improve, you're not really paying attention to other people. You're not really comparing yourself to other photographers and filmmakers. You're not really trying to beat them or compete with anybody. You're just trying to be the best version that you can be. So in the great scheme of things, this question does not even matter. So that is the day that I think I became a better photographer, but perhaps that day hasn't even arrived yet. Who knows? I will link the original post and my website as well with the online gallery in case you want to check my images. Link in the description down below. As always, I am curious to know what do you think. Has that day already arrived for you or are you working towards that day? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. But that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and join my free newsletter as well. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy, and good luck with your creative process.